Hey guys, it's Karen. It is um, Sunday night and I'm just coming to you with a little um, <clears throat> messy desk vlog or I don't know what you want to call it. Um, just updates on what's been going on this week in the doll scene here at the house uh, with the crafting and stuff. Um, you can see before me I have an Amazon Prime box. This came on Saturday and this is... Um, I'm going to open this up and show you what this is. I'm very excited about it. But I also wanted to show you this here. Yes, it still looks horrible, but I don't know if you can see the floor. Um, that is all stuff that has been, I can almost get to my bead table now. That has all been cleared out. There used to be piles of boxes there. Um, I got rid of several things to recycling. This box is now completely full and ready to go to Goodwill. So I made um, I made a lot of progress in here this last week, doing a little bit at a time. Hopefully I can get some more. I have another bag of recycling that needs to go out there, more recycling that needs to be sorted there. Um, and actually I need to do a video about these two American Girl dolls, or maybe I can just talk to you about it in this vlog. Maybe you guys can help me out. So I have two American Girl dolls here. These are not mine. I actually do not collect American Girl dolls. Um, these are actually belong to my cousins and they gave them to me before I was even really um, into collecting. Um, and I'll show you why. They need fixing. Um, these are old ones. I don't even, I don't know who they are. Um, they were given to, these belong to my cousins when they were kids and now they have kids. So, um, and my one cousin, she just had a little girl, and so I know she's going to want her fixed up. But you can see that there, a dog got to her. So originally, a couple years ago, when I was given these to try to fix for them, I looked online thinking it would be really easy to um, find a pattern for the body to just sew them a new body. Uh, I would have hand sewed it and everything, but I actually couldn't find one. Um, but that was a couple years ago, and you know, every year there's more and more stuff on the internet. Um, but if you guys know of any resources, I mean, I suppose I could take her apart and I could actually like try to draft a body and I don't even exactly know what kind, this is a pretty thick canvas. Maybe you AG girls, um, collectors know what kind of canvas I would need. So that one and their hair needs spas, uh, badly, but yes, this, the puppy got to that one, a big dog puppy. And, um, and uh, these were given to me to fix before the pandemic, so they've been sitting here for a while. And then there's this girl. Ugh, I don't have enough desk space. I don't know what's wrong with her. Um, oh, it looks like she's missing a leg. Is it in the bag or is it just missing? Oh, come here, you. Let me see. Yes, it's in the leg. So apparently, I mean, excuse me, the leg is in the bag. So apparently this girl needs to be... I haven't checked the state of her body, but you know, it just needs to be tightened, put her leg back on and tightened up. Apparently that'll be an easy fix. I'm sure there's plenty of stuff online about that. Um, what's in there? There's something in there. I don't know any, I'll have to watch some videos about fixing American girl dolls, but I'm sure that part will be easy enough. Clean them up and get her leg attached, but obviously she's going to need a whole new body uh, sewn. And I don't know yeah, she just came undone. Her body looks like it's okay. So she's, uh, she just needs a clean up and a spa and then her leg put back on. So however, I need to do that. But this one, this poor girl, um, she needs a new canvas body. Cause, um, you can just, can't you just unthread this and then take their limbs out? So, but I will need to re-sew this, right? So like I said, if anybody has any ideas or websites that they know of or tutorials or patterns for American Girl doll bodies, um, wow. let me know and um, I would be so grateful. I'll look again, but um, like I said, a couple years ago, I didn't have a good luck looking, but maybe now there's more stuff out available on the internet. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to put these girls back in their bag and... Um, I don't know why I don't, I mean, I think they're pretty. I don't like their, um, I don't like their soft bodies because uh, personally I like, um, 
I, I feel like other kinds of 18 inch dolls better than these, but these are, you know, these are great dolls. I don't want, I want to be able to fix them up for my cousin. So, um, so yeah. So anyway, I'm going to turn, I'm going to go up back again when I unbox what's in this box and show you guys. I think you might be able to guess if you've been following what I've been waiting for, but, um, let me go ahead and, um, get that out and we'll see what it is. Hey guys, I'm back, and this little one's apparently driving my husband crazy. Sabrina, what are you doing? Are you being bad? Are you being so bad? Are you? Are you being a bad girl? You are? Yeah. How about we not be a bad girl? How about we settle down? It's time to settle down. People are going to go to bed soon. Yeah. Anyway, um, go lay down. Oh, there she goes downstairs to terrorize people. This is who I got today. So you guys remember that I ordered her at the same time I ordered the African American um, look stall on Amazon. I found both of them at retail price of $20. The African American gal who I'm just in love with is number two and this gal is number six. I don't have any more coming because I haven't found anybody else at the retail price yet. And I had to wait for the shipping on this one uh, for a couple days. But here she is, and I'm super happy that she's here. So I'm going to get her out of the box and take a look at her. All right, you guys, sorry this isn't any kind of proper video. I, um, I don't have, you get to see my horrible background. I didn't put up a background, but here she is out of her um, box. And here she is standing next to her friend from the same line and she is slightly taller they're both in their high heels here's her cute cute boots she's stunning I love this doll I mean I love both of these dolls I want to get like I said I want to try to find all of the gals for sure um, on this line the brunette is beautiful and I really love the petite Asian doll I just am not 100% in love with her hair, but it's not because I don't like the haircut. I do like the haircut. It's just the box hair. It just, I don't know. I've seen some other people style it and it, it turns out looking better. So, um, but this dress is just beautiful and it's just, I love how simple, like they put them in the black and white. Everything is just so clean and simple and elegant. Her hair is like super soft and beautiful. She reminds me of, um, her face mold is just, her sculpt is really pretty. Um, I love how tall and statuesque she is. I, I think she reminds me, I don't, I'm dating myself here, but back in the 70s and the 80s, like Swedish model, maybe the 60s too, but Swedish models were like the thing that like everybody, they were like the highest standard of beauty back then. I, I don't know if you guys who are older remember that, but like that was like, oh yeah, I'm dating a Swedish model or the Swedish model, da da da. And this is what, that's what she reminds me of. She reminds me of a Swedish model. <laughs> because of course she's got that fair, tall, lean, fair look. And so I keep thinking the Swedish model. Maybe that's not something that people think of anymore, but that was certainly um, a cultural uh, ideal when I was growing up, when I was young, way back years and years ago. And that's what I keep thinking of when I see her as a Swedish model. And I just, I mean, aren't these two just the perfect complement to one another? Absolutely gorgeous. I love them both so much. Um, so I'm not going to get the others, though, until I'm sure I can't find them at retail. I, I just luck. It was just luck that I found these guys for $20 on Amazon. So I'm just going to keep looking and periodically seeing if I can get lucky again. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. I, I'm not going to, I'll probably make stuff for him, but for right now, I'm just happy. I'm not a like buy and keep a Barbie and display them because I don't even buy new Barbies, but, um, they just, I just really like this line and I, I look at those legs, my God, right? Like, so yeah, I'm just going to keep them like this for a while and enjoy them. I got other dolls to dress first anyway, so just gorgeous. I really am shocked that they... I don't know. I, I mean, out of all the Barbies that I've seen that are new and stuff, these, this line, I was just, that's the only reason. Cause as you know, I'm like more into the old stuff, but as far as new goes, these guys, I was really impressed with. And, um, so 
yes, I'm going to go now and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. And again, if you have any tips on restoring those, oh, I know I've asked this before, but what do you guys do with these? These certificates that so it came all crumpled in the box. Do you guys keep these on file somewhere or something? What do you Barbie collectors do with these and how do you store them? Or do you even, or do you even keep them or do you just chuck them? I'm just curious. So let me know, um, A, if you have any leads or tips on the American Girl Body Restores, B, uh, if you have these dolls, if you're still looking for them, if you plan on getting them, if you don't, and C, if you are a Barbie collector, what the heck should I do with this? So, all right, I'm going to sign off for real now. Bye, guys.